Here we go. Knock, knock. <sighs> Who's there? Knock. Knock who? Knockout rounds. Bro, just add a dislike button, please. Oh, that's all I'm asking. Just add a dislike button. Real simple. I, I wouldn't even get tilted. I would just click it every time and move forward with my day. Groups and play-ins were a heckin' hype. And the world's train isn't stopping anytime soon. This patch, we got a lot of champions and new adjustments chugging along. So it's a very big change to Gordraker to keep fighters on track. Hannah. Okay. All right, we got nerfs. Action. Really never see this champion. I don't. Graves needs nerf. Karthus. I heard it was Karthus bot. Whatever. Misfortune needs nerf. And thank God. Thank God. I woof. I woof. I was a little bit worried they weren't going to go through with the Quinn nerfs. But I played against that champion yesterday and ranked. And let me tell you, she was a problem. Woo. Decided to read those. Oof. Thank God. League is saved. Wait, that's the wait, that's the only nerfs? Wow. Wow. So when you think of League right now, these are the champions that you're just like, God damn, they're broken. Really? <laughs> Talon, Kiana, Zed, Kane? None of them. Yone? None. Yumi? Support entire class? <laughs> True. You need to be fired. Buffs, Jinx. Mmm. Lux, Zion, Timo. I don't know. I kind of don't like when Jinx is strong because of fucking supports, but whatever. Skins, whatever. S items, okay. Gordraker, okay, okay. Ravis Hunter, okay. Conqueror, okay. Guardian. Is huge, by the way. I think Guardian's fucked. Disabling all chat. Sheesh. Starting this patch, all chat will be disabled in match made queues in a few regions. It's for very few regions. Do they all chat? Wait, is it disabled in uh, NA? No? Fuck. I said some toxic shit in, in all chat last night. Shit. I, I thought it was the last day. This test will last for... Blah, 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 blah. All chat will be available custom games. They're totally disabled. Blah, 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 blah. So where is it actually disabled at? You works. You and Eads down. I know Ian. You has it. So where, dude? D d d where's it even? Does anybody know where it's actually disabled at? Priya, are we sure? Do we know for a fact? Whatever. Uh, action E damage decrease. This is not a nerf to me because I never do. I, I never use it correctly anyway. If auctions been steadily, auctions have been steadily creeping up to the screen to release. We're tapping down as signature moves. Damage to make the choice between maxing Q or E first. A bit more strategic. I mean, okay, but that, this is a really stupid reasoning. I mean, I don't like this. I don't, dude, they, should, they shouldn't even type shit. But every time they type, it's just like you're fucking dumb. 
Bro, champions have a max. Like, champions, all different. Like, like on Draven, there's no strategic. Okay, do you want to max Q, W, E? Champions max an ability first. It's what they do. There's a stronger ability to max. So, why are these guys acting like, okay, we. We want this to be strategic. Do you want to max E or Q in this? Bro, just leave it E, whatever. Goes by 5, 10, 15, 20. Cool. Graves, E bonus armor decreased. What? You're telling me that 20 mana nerf didn't do anything? Wow. Graves' def defensive dueling power makes his landing a little too consistent in some early matchups. Reducing his business to bur burliness to give his opponent a chance to outplay the outlaw. How many stacks can you get? I mean, it's two per stack. Wait. How many, uh... Eight? Alright, then it's... Then it's pretty good. Two per level. I mean, whatever. Uh, I mean, the champs, it's items, but whatever. Jinx, passive attack speed increased. E range increased. R cooldown decreased. I don't know about Jinxie. 10% more on her passive. Almost doubled. 25 more range on her E. 15 seconds, level 1, kind of a lot, gotta be careful with Jinx, she's a problem, she's a problem, card this E mana, restore, reduced early, and scales more with rank, card this bot gets almost infinite wave control in an early game thanks to his E passive, that's not true, pretty spooky, we're trimming down his mana early to target his performance in lane without affecting his jungle, So you lose five, rank one. Put two, you lose two, rank two. I mean, this isn't anything. Whatever. It's not anything. It's whatever. And then you get more mana restored max rank, but you max it fucking sec, sec, anyway. I'll just go E max anyway. Don't hit my fucking Qs regardless. Lux, base attack speed per level increase. Passive mark duration adjusted. E damage increased. R cooldown. Fucking really? By increasing her E damage in 11 10, Lux still isn't shining so bright in either Mander's sport takes Martina but for a bit. A bit? Seems fucking nuts. Doesn't her R? Doesn't Lux have something where if she hits an R, like if she R kills, it refreshes cooldown or some shit or whatever? That's been removed? Wait, since when? Wait, when did they remove that? Years ago? Damn. So from 1% attack speed to 2 per level. That's noticeable. Is your mark duration extended? Let's base is already in flight to the target. That's huge, actually. Or if our former spikes being cast. That actually, this is actually uh, QL, Q quality of life change. Well. Cool. That's actually kind of big. It does that work for any other champion? Like that doesn't work. Like for instance, if if you're playing Quinn, like shocker, and Valor marks a target, and then you auto like you wait a bit, you wait a bit, wait a bit, then you auto the minion, but the mark disappears. You don't get the attack speed boost or movement speed boost. So I think they should maybe do that for other champs as well. It's a quality of life. 10 damage under E per level, plus 5% AP scaling. 20 seconds on R. I mean, we'll see. MF needed needs hard nerf, strongest AD carry, both in pro play and in solo queue. Base mana reduced, W mana cost increased. 
Order has been popular every other play, including the world. Even a sort of the flexibility between Latati and Crit Notes. We're nerfing her in a way that forces her to pick her early shots more wisely. 25 mana, 26 mana, 1500 mana cost. Oh, wait a minute. Whoa, something caught my eye. Wait a minute. Whoa. Whoa, wait a minute. I can't even finish reading this. Whoa, whoa, hold on. Wait a minute. Skip that shit. Finally, I can't wait to read this. Quinn is getting nerfed. Woo! W bonus attack speed decreased late. Oh, yeah. Quinn is a late game terror on the rift. To I woo, she woo. She terrorizing the rift late game. Quinn's been flying high above her competition. At you said fucking what? Quinn's been flying high above her competition in top lane. We are dropping her to a lower elevation so that in it so that her enemies can stand a chance against her duels. Bro, I like how they're like memeing. Like Quinn's been flying high, so we're dropping her again. She's a bird and dropping her. We still hate you, man. We hate you. Nobody fucking plays this god damn champion. Nobody. She's not flying above anybody. I played against a one-trick Quinn yesterday. The champ was so laughable fucking useless. It was hilarious. If anything, the only reason she would ever be doing well is because nobody picks fucking tanks. And Quinn is really bad against tanks. That is why. And even then, she's dog shit. She, bro, she goes W max. She has no wave clear. And then I see people like, well, I hate playing against Quinn because she shoves the wave and roams. Fucking what? She takes 20 seconds to shove the wave. If she, if she presses R to go mid, that's one rank level six. That's 100 mana. She has 438 mana at level six. 100 mana. So let's say you roam mid lane. You walk over a pink ward and top river picks. Now. What can you do? Do you do you dismount to clear that ward? Because if you remount after, that's 100 mana. Nope, you gotta go back top lane because they saw you, they spotted you. Oh, just run through the ward here really fast. That's Kane. Kane's E is faster than Quinn in fucking Valor. And can go through walls. And heals him. And gives him vision. He has Quinn's W. And R on his E! Hello? And it heals! What are you fucking talking about? So I don't want to hear the R argument. And, oh, well, she roams. She, dude, she can't be this oppressive and lame with their fucking roaming capability. Dude, you're drooling on yourself when you type this stupid shit. Just stop typing this dumb shit. Now let's read what the fucking nerf is. I did. Sorry. I didn't even get... Into to the actual numbers. W heightened senses. Okay. So people max W top because lethality is a joke. Rank one, it's the same. Five level two. Ten level three. Fifteen level rank four. Twenty percent max rank. And you max it first. And it's not even the movement speed, it's the bonus fucking attack speed. Like, like, like that, like, the fucking attack speed even matters. Oh, hey, hey, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. 35 damage, 35 damage, 35 damage, 35 damage, 35 damage, 35 damage. Like, she's not dropping nukes, bro. She's autoing you for, for fucking a quarter. Flip a fucking, bro, she's hitting you for 10 damage. You go second wind, D shield, tab rush, those those autos she's doing are literally healing you. They are actually healing you. I'm not even kidding. Second wind D shield tabs, you are healing more per auto than, the, than what she's doing. Fucking doing. But people are fucking stupid. And don't get me started if you rush Warden's Veil. Don't get me started on that. No. Nobody plays tanks. People autopilot build the same bullshit every game. It's stupid. The 20% attack speed nerf, 
I don't mean thinks bad. I don't think's bad. Like, it's not, I mean, in my opinion, noticeable. These people are building Witsend and Shield, Shield Bow. I don't think it's going to be bad. It's the fucking fact that they type Quinn nerf in the patch notes. Type some stupid bullshit right here. Right, right here. And then give her some artificial nerf. Bro. Bro. Don't, bro. Don't get me started. I can't stand you people. You are so lost. I I play 20 games a day, 20,000 games a season. I've played against this champion one time. And it was yesterday. And she got quaked, obviously, because she's trash. Nobody plays her. Let's move on. Right, slug my fucking monitor. <laughs> let's go. Let's let's continue. Scion, that's a buff to me. W shield increase. I don't think Tank Scion's bad. I really don't. I think he's been viable. <sighs> stays the same. AP value stays the same. But maximum health. Wow, two percent rank one. I think on tank side, oh, two percent all ranks actually. That's pretty big. Pretty big. On tank side, do you max it second? I think so. Timo heard a lot about this one. Timo, Q cooldown decreased, blind duration increased, missile speed increased. I mean, this is huge. Captain Timo's fall behind the top lane ranks for putting a little more anti-basic attack poison in the friendly order start. Make him more annoying. Let's cross that out. Powerful in lane. Why do they cross this out? I really hate these guys. I do. They're so lost. Like, they're so lost, like, in... Q blinding dart, one second cooldown, decreased, okay. Duration, whoa, okay. 0.5 increased blind, 0.25. Wait, that's fucking huge. Three seconds max rank. And then 1,000 more missile speed. And the Q cool... Isn't this crap? Isn't that like crazy? I mean, it's not a damage buff. Like, there's no flat damage buff, but it will be because it's one second lower cooldown, but it really do be annoying. I don't think Timo's that good. He is annoying, though, but I think a lot of champs that can't take TP are good. Like, except for, like, I don't think Nasus top lane's good. I think Nasus mid is good. Plus the champs of Demon in the, in the top lane. But it's, they have windows to play around? Kinda. Honestly, that's a lie. Honestly, that's a lie. Because I played against, like, five Ignite set players yesterday. Actually, that's a lie. Yeah, I played against five Ignite set players yesterday. I would try in side lane because they have Ignite and I have TP advantage. And my baboon shit sniffers, asshole teammates, would fight a 4v5 when set has, hasn't come to match me. So, who knows? Viego? I don't want to see Viego. Ever. Q damage ratio increase W slow, self slow decrease our crit ratio increase. And I'm pretty sure the reason Viego's win rate has been a little bit low is because people are still building divine. And I think they fixed a couple patches ago. They made that bad, so you should always build crit. Now they're really now people are like, oh, now they're like, oh shit, idiots are still not building crit. Here you go. Let's increase this. Now the people are gonna start building him correctly. 
And this one is gonna go way up. Way, way up. So, whatever. Blame the stupid ass players. Ten percent on his Q, A D ratio. Minus five himself slow, twenty five percent on the crit. Zaya? Bro, it's like buff number twenty for Zaya, by the way. Same thing with Mordekaiser. Eventually they're gonna understand, hey, it's the items. Base movement speed increase, cool, cool Q, cooldown decrease late. Five movement speed. Which will help her set up her her feathers. That's actually kind of noticeable. Max rank Q by two seconds. Uh, I forget. Do you ma you max E W right on Zaya? Your Q is just to set up your feathers, right? Can't remember. It's been a few years since I played eighty carry. You max Q last, right? Mm, let's see. Core drinker. Okay. This item needs gutted. Shield bow does too, but we'll wait on that one. And it's core ringer supposed to be a sustained mythic that lets fighters outlast their enemies with well-timed thirsting sledges. Let's not forget, this is like the fifth time they've touched this item since the item rework. Let's also not forget, we had a three-month-long preseason as well. So, again, one word. Fail yours. Uh, fail your. Your failures. Well, wanting to stay into a fight isn't unique to fighters. It's a big part of their class identity. They have the best tools to the defensive and low health. At the same time, it's a risky to follow, to fill. To wear bigger, rough patches since the. I don't think I have been damaged and healing. And Gore Drinker offers both. Seeing the risk play out over the course of the season with Gordon becoming the dominant mythic pick for fighters due to offering the best sustain without making significant, sufficient trade offs on the damage front. As a further evidence, the have been taking Gordon over their own mythics. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder why that is. Hmm. Because the item re re rework was a failure. Hmm. Interesting, bro. <sighs> Tens are designed to kill quickly, so they shouldn't be valuing an item that. This is so much in the stain to strength that low health. It's 1.0 AD ratio and it's heal. Gore Drinker's active is just too valuable. It's another button in ass assassin combos that also let them shrug off any damage they take while eviscerating their target. So many thoughts. In order to move Gore Drinker back into its stain, we've re we are removing its low health bonus AD, nerf damage for fighters, and weakening thirsting slash AD scaling to nerf damage per set. At the same time, we don't want Gordanger to become a bad pick for fighters. So we're getting an Omnivamp to make sure it still lives up to its identity as a stain mythic. I mean, bro, I just got did. I mean, there, dude, I got, dude. So we had a three month long preseason. The items were dropped. We didn't do anything during that three months. The season started. The Gord Ranker was a problem. We nerfed it. Two months later, it was a problem. We nerfed it. We buffed Stride. Everybody's building Stride. Nobody's building Gord Ranker anymore. What do we do? We nerf Stride. Buff Gord Ranker. Again. We leave it until now. Fucking... Three weeks before the season ends. And the next preseason starts. Now. Three weeks before the preseason. Now we're going to change it again. The whole year has been preseason. What do you even use the, that long three months to fucking do? God. So more base AD. It now grants Omnivamp. No more health regen. What does this mean? So when you activate it, it, it doesn't heal. What is it? It doesn't heal? Or did they just change it to from 
boosting health to bonus AD. It used to give more AD at low health? Yeah. Oh, I see, I see. I mean, whatever, bro. It, uh, uh, we'll see. We'll see, bro. We'll see. It gives Omnivamp now, but we'll see. Now I'm going to read the Ornite item. I think Iron's by the Whip's active. The match ringers reduce the offensive capabilities. Bro, this total AD versus base AD math fucking confuses the hell out of me. Holy shit. So now it goes from 75% total AD to 100% base AD. Total AD is all the AD you have in the game. So if I'm playing Draven, I'm full build, I have like 500 AD. When my base AD would be like 70, right? Or does my base AD go up per level as well? Okay, I get it. 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 Sorry, Baker. We're also using Strikebreaker's act to match the damage changes to Gordon Grand Click Whip, but it's also getting AD boost compensation that doesn't need nerf right now. This item is garbage. Nobody will build this item. It doesn't matter. This is a, I, I get it. You're trying to do item diversity. Nobody's going to ever build this shit. Uh, get it off my screen. Not turn. Get it off my screen. Nobody's gonna build this. Ever. Uh, but I mean, I think now that they gutted this, they'll, they'll be like, people will build- This is a goofy, goofball item. Nobody's buying this shit. Shaco builds it, uh, and I laugh. Fucking- And then, like, not turn. Garen, I, I mean, whatever. I did- Nobody plays Garen. I never see Garen at my elo, so it doesn't matter. Nobody builds this garbage. Total AD to base AD. Whatever. Conk- Seeing a body champions pick on and even a city that don't match its purpose, extended all ins, we're hunting into the D, V nerf. One. Oh. Really? Adaptive force per stack, two to five. From to two to four. Okay. You get 12 stacks, right? And that lasts four seconds instead of six. Sure. Guardian! Okay, I want to see what this one is. I've been saying Guardian is fucking broken for a long time. Guardian's been overperforming this four roll and crowding out of the keys, so we're toning it down. Toning it down. 70 to 150. Okay. 50 to 130. Okay. Good. Same AP ratio. Same bonus health. 20 less. We'll see. Hell Shard. Okay. Useful when you don't expect much of a threat in lane. Not getting pig much in that case, so we're upping its numbers to make it more desirable. Fifty HPs, huge. Actually, what the fuck? Is that, is that at level eighteen? You get fifty HP. I mean, that's kind of. I mean, you don't hit that. Damn near ever. I mean, the 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 fucking games. It goes fifteen is crazy. Plus, I would still just always go armor. It's bro. It's minion damage. People don't understand. Every single champion auto attacks, whether it be mages or whatever, everybody has an auto. Autos all, damn near always do 80 damage plus minions, so. He's Hunter. Base item haste from 10 to 20. Her stack, up one. Max item that full stacks up 15. That's kind of big. Wait, this works on items? Hmm. Interesting. Ravenous Hunter. I'm ready crowding out of the choices for your body, so we're nerfing it a bit. Yeah, it's kind of fucked. And they've already nerfed it. 0.3 per stack, 1.5 per max rank. Whatever. We'll see. I never go it. I never go Ravenous Hunter ever.
shard of true ice will correctly reduce minion gold if its users has have has farmed more than 20 minions per five minutes i really spit on you you're failures bro Whatever, dude. I'm gonna get pissed. Whatever. It is what it is. I did. I. I it's to the point where I don't even care anymore about about the patches. I care about the way the reasoning behind. Like, if I could block out the reasoning behind nerfing champs, I feel like I'd be a lot less tilted. tilted. Whatever. <laughs>